How's everybody doing today? All right, we're going to start out with our I Ready fourth grade mathematics student at home activity packet. So I want to say thank you for all those uh, parents who came up and got those packets. If you did not get these packets, you're still able to go to school every day between eight and three o'clock and someone will be there so you can pick these up. Let's go ahead and look at our table of contents for our whole packet. You can see there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six different concepts that we'll be going over for the next few weeks. All right, and first off, we're gonna be starting with understanding place value. So the first day, we're gonna, we're gonna jump on the understanding of place value. Uh, next, we'll move on to comparing multi-digit numbers, and then finally, we'll end off with rounding whole numbers. All right, so let's get into today's lesson. 62. All right, if you are unable to go pick up your packet from school, what I would suggest doing is pausing the video, working out the first problem, and then uh, unpausing your video and check your work as I walk you through each step. So let's go ahead and start off with number one. Write the number 78,215 in the place value chart. All right, so you know we always start in our ones place or our units place. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. So you can see there is no hundred thousands here, so we will not use this column. Let's go ahead and write out our five for our ones place. And let's put our one in our tens place our two in our hundreds place, have your comma there, our eight in your thousands place, and your seven in your ten thousands place. All right, then next we write 78,215 in expanded form and word form. So let's start out with expanded form first. So we look at our ten thousands place and we can see that we have seven ten thousands which would be 70,000. And then we move to our thousands place next, and we can see we have an eight in our thousands place. So that would be 8,000. Then we move to our hundreds place, and we have a two in our hundreds place, and that would be 200. Then we move to our tens place, and we have a one in the tens place. So that would be 10. Finally, we go to our units place and we have a five in our units place. So that would be five. So 78,215 written out in expanded form would be 70,000 plus 8,000 plus 200 plus 10 plus five. All right, now let's move on to our word form. All right, so we have 78,000 215. All right, let's move on to number two. Write the number 540,632 in the place value chart. All right, we started out in our units place and we have two ones. We have three tens, six hundreds, zero thousands, four ten thousands, and five hundred thousands. Let's add our comma right here. All right, now we are going to write 540,632 in expanded form and word form. Let's go ahead and start out with our expanded form. You have 500 thousands plus 40 ten thousands. You don't have any in the thousands place, so you will not put anything down there. Now let's just move on to our hundreds place, and you have six one hundreds plus three tens plus two ones. Now writing the number out in word form, we have 540,632. All right, let's move on to number three. All right, number three, show different ways to make 25,302. So first, let's look how many thousands do we have? We have 25 thousands. 
And then how many hundreds do we have? We have three hundreds. And then finally, how many ones do we have? We have two ones. All right, let's show it a different way. How many hundreds total would we have? So we look at our hundreds place and we would have 253 hundreds. So 253 hundreds. And then how many ones do we have? We have two ones. All right, and then finally, how many total ones would we have? We would have 25,302 ones. All right, let's move on to number four. So show different ways to make 708,496. So how many hundred thousands do we have? We have seven hundred thousands. How many thousands do we have? We have eight thousands. How many hundreds do we have? We have four hundreds. Now we need to look for our tens. You can see that we have nine tens. And then finally we look at our ones place and you can see we have six ones. All right, let's show it a different way. So how many thousands do you see? We see 708 thousands. So 708 thousands. How many hundreds do you see? We have four hundreds. And then how many tens do you see? We have nine tens. And finally, how many ones do you see? We have six ones. All right, let's show it one more way. So how many total hundreds do you see? So we have 7,084 hundreds. So 7,084 hundreds. All right, how many tens do you see? We have nine tens. And then how many ones do you see? You see six ones. All right, guys. Good job on this page. We are all complete. Let's move on to page number two. Six. All right, guys, number five. Let's show different ways to make 492,623. So the first way, how many ten thousands do you see? So we see a total of 49 ten thousands. All right, and how many thousands do you see? We see two thousands. And then how many hundreds do you see? You see six hundreds. And then finally, or not finally, but how many tens do we have? We have two tens. And last, how many ones do you have? You have three ones. All right, there's one way to show it. Let's cruise on down and check out the next way. So they're looking for how many total thousands do you see? So how many thousands? We have 492 thousands. So 492 thousands. How many tens do you see? We have 62 tens. All right, and then how many ones do you see? We see three one. Very nice. Let's cruise on to the final way to show this number. All right. How many total hundreds do you have? We have a total of 4,926 hundreds. So that's 4,926 hundreds. And then we look at our ones. We have 23 ones. All right, guys, there's three different ways to show 492,623.
All right, let's head on to number six. So guys, we're gonna write 841,620 in three different ways. All right, let's look at word form first. We have 841,620. So that's 841,620. All right, next we're gonna look at it in expanded form. All right, we have 800,000 plus 40,000 plus 1,000 plus 600 plus 20. So we're basically doing the value of each digit. All right, and then finally, we will check it out in one last way. All right. So how many 10,000s do you see? So how many 10,000s do you see? You see 84 10,000s. 84 10,000s. Next, let's look at how many thousands do you see? You see one thousands. Next, let's look at our hundreds. We see six hundreds. All right, and then let's look at our tens. We see two tens. And then finally, let's check out our ones. How many do we have in our ones place? We have zero ones. All right, we have found three different ways to show 841,620. All right, let's move on to number seven. So the last problem for today, why do both of these show 27,974? So you can see in this first one right here, we did the expanded form. So you can see in the 10,000th place, we have a two, so that is 20,000. And then we look at the thousands place, it has a seven, so that value is 7,000. In the hundreds place, you have a nine, which is 900. In the tens place, you have a seven, which is 70. In the ones place or units place, you have a four, which is four. So this is our expanded form of 27,974. If I were to add all these together, it would give me my number. So let's take the first two right here. If you add 20,000 plus 7,000, you get 27,000, which matches 27,000. Next, if I took my 900 plus 70, you get 970, which would be the same as 97 tens. And then finally, we have four ones, and we have four ones there. Another way to look at this would be to multiply 27 times 1,000, which equals 27,000. And then we could take 97 times 10 and get 970. And finally, 4 times 1, which would give us four ones. Add all these together, your units place, your tens place, your hundreds place, your thousands, and your ten thousands. Our final number of 27,974. I appreciate everybody uh, following along today. Um, look for a lesson in the next day or two, and we'll, we'll keep on rolling with these. Thank you guys for working very hard. I appreciate your effort. Let's keep up the good work. I'm proud of each and every one of you. Thank you, guys. Take care.